In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called understanding the origin of the Van der Waals equation of state. The Van der Waals equation is always pretty intimidating to look at, but this problem is a lot simpler than it looks. This is giving us three different samples of gas, X, Y, and Z, and it's giving us the boiling point of the gas and then the, the diameter of the gas particles, and it's asking us to rank the relative size of the Van der Waals constant A and the Van der Waals constant B. So at first, when you first look at this problem, it probably seems really intimidating. We're gonna start with the particle diameter. This is just, you know, the size of the molecules um, in the gas sample. That's just a fancy way of saying how big are the molecules. So this 208, this is the biggest gas molecule in this sample, and this is the smallest gas molecule. Of the two um, constants, A and B, B is the constant that corrects for the size of the gas particles. In an ideal gas, we assume that the gas particles have no volume. They have no size. That's obviously not accurate. They do have size. And the larger the size is of a gas molecule, the more significant this correction factor has to be. So for the three gas molecules, the biggest one out of all of them is the one that has to have the highest correction factor for um, B. And the smallest gas molecule is the one that is going to need the lowest correction. So again, this B is correcting for the fact that the gases have size. The bigger the size is, the more significant that the correction factor needs to be. And this one is just going to be in the middle. I don't, uh, I don't remember when we drop this down. I don't remember if it's like one, two, three, or if it says highest, lowest, whatever. But this is going to be the biggest. Uh, maybe it's actual numbers. I don't know what we'll see. Okay, so that's this one. This one's pretty straightforward. Um, the second one, it gives us the boiling point. So the boiling point is the temperature at which the substances convert from liquid to gas. So this is the temperature for where the substance boils for the liquid to gas conversion. And um, this is related to the Van der Waals constant A. The Van der Waals constant A is actually correcting for attractive forces between the gas molecules. So initially it might seem like it's totally unrelated to the boiling point. However, if a substance has a low boiling point, that means that it's really easy to evaporate and it's really easy to boil. That means that it also has low attractive forces. It's really easy to pull those molecules apart. And if the molecule has a high boiling point, this is due to the fact that the molecules are attracted to each other. They want to stay stuck together. So a high boiling point is going to have high attractive forces. So in, in um, this data, this is really a roundabout way of giving us information about the attractive forces between the, the molecules. Attra I'm just writing attractive, um, not attractive forces. So the sample of gas that has the lowest boiling point, this is the sample of gas that has the lowest attractive forces. And uh, again, just like with the size correction, the more significant the attractive forces actually are, the bigger the correction factor needs to be. So our gas sample that has very low boiling point, low attractive forces, it's going to have the lowest correction factor. Our sample of gas that has a very high boiling point, that means it has high attractive forces. That means that it's going to need to have the highest correction factor. And then the one in the middle is something in the middle.